And we're back. So when we left off, we were taking off Little Field 2 for corn silage, delivering it to the South BGA, and taking some, some bales off. And, as it happens, we have filled the bunkers at the South BGA. So we're, we're going to have to do here, set up a brand new route to go to the uh, livestock farm, I guess. I've got some room in the bunkers there. So I will create some courses. I'm just going to drive him back to the field, and we're going to exit the screen north. There you go. Up roads, three north. That sh should be straight up north. It happens to be that Livestock Farm is on road three, so enter from three north. And then B1. And then exit to three south. And up roads, three south. Last, back to field two, enter from three south. That's the course. I do have bunkers on this farm right here, but I haven't put anything in them yet. There's no livestock, nothing to do with the silage here other than store it. So, and I've already got some silage in the bunkers up at the livestock farm. So I may as well just deliver it to there. So that's that guy. This guy's currently loading. Once he's done, I'll get him. Stop him. Instead of re-recording that whole course again, I'm just going to copy Doits. There, he's on that course. He was headed back. Let's have a nice turn go like that. Come on, you go down. I hate when the IC doesn't work. Doesn't want to go. Oh well. Somebody has just finished. That's probably the harvester, so this is a new point. May as well. I own this tractor, not the way, so it has to go back to the store. So the case has 86% chaff in it, out of the field. I'm going to just delete this course. And the uh, cash crop farm courses to store. And that course starts right here, so drive course and stop at last point. Go to this harvester, which is in fact done. Stop him. Unfold that header again and we will just clean up the scraps in this field. Wagon should follow me around. is finished work. It's probably my mailer. It's fine. Gonna left here, Case. Come on, we can do this. Making a 
another left. stuck. Oh, we made it. Yeah, I had two hours and 45 minutes to spare with this harvester. One o'clock in the afternoon. That is the harvest complete. Now we can shut her down. This case, I am what number are you? I think you're number eight. This is not you, and I think if I go to cash crop farm, what do I have? Of course, it's just one good store. That's, you know what? That gets me close enough to where I want to dump this off, so I'll just run up to there. Through my lane right here. Setup. I guess I could run the same course as the doilies. That would be another idea, and it'll bring it right to the bunker. Copy that course. And drive course. And tell them to stop at the last point or the next trigger. Speaking of the doilies, yeah, perfect. I found them at exactly the right time. I didn't need him to come back to the field. I want him right here. So I can return this. I have to return both of these. Oh, this is the tractor have the weight on it that I own. we get to that, let's find, uh, yeah, this guy has finished his job, let's be on the fold and everything, or, oh, so I just, I'll clean up the scraps real quick, kind of, you know, retentive on that sort of stuff. You gotta pay attention to little details if you want to be a successful farmer. We'll run down to the other end of the field, see if any pieces of straw got missed. Assuming they did not, or we'll grab grab whatever's there, and then we'll send this guy over to field 45. And uh, maybe rent another bale wagon or two start picking those bales up just to get that process going some of these bales I'm going to want to there's a bale to store trigger in front of the straw bin as well and the hay bin and the silage bin and I did miss a little bit there but um, some of this I'm going to put in the straw bin it'll just convert it to chopped straw so probably should turn the baler on That is to convert it into compost, which I will need for the greenhouses and the orchard. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I'm a 
little confused as to what's going on there. Why? Oh, I bet you I've got me a problem. I just restarted these courses without really looking at them. I better find out. Why that guy did not... Oh, because it didn't have the field course. It just had... Well, why is he running the field? Let's find out what's going on with these guys. What is your course? Okay. What is your course? That's an odd course. It's definitely not the course I want you to be running. So, let's stop the driver. We'll just have to manually bring these bales back in and copy that other guy's course because he seems to be working properly. That's a little odd. Like I said, I restarted the game and it just had these 16 combined courses still loaded from the last time. And uh, I don't know, something went a little haywire there. We'll quickly run these over to the livestock farm here, drop these bales off, and uh, we can try just copy the course of the other track there. It seemed to be the correct course. Give it a whirl. Maybe I can just do it here. Well, do this. Hey, I assume that that works now as the proper course. Yep. I'll just press drive. And I'm not sure where he's going to end up when he comes back to the field. But, what's the scenario? He starts at the, at the start and just drives around, wasting a bunch of time and fuel. Right. Back to him. I want to keep this bailing show on the road so. That appears to be all the straw that we missed up. Obviously, when he was driving around like that, he knocked a few bales around, so we'll have to clean those up later. I've been watching another guy's videos, Ian Robinson. He's got a lot of followers, a lot of viewers, which is good. Ian Robinson is a fellow Canadian. And we actually sim a lot alike. I've noticed. Noticed he does likes the same sort of thing I do. Does things the same way I do. In some ways, I probably wouldn't want to farm with him. I, as a rule, don't like farming with other people because I got things I want to do in, in my way. It's my farm, sort of thing. Nothing really big. It's just nothing against what other people do. It's just I like doing things my way without having to mess around with other people. One of the reasons I don't farm online too much, I will occasionally, buddies or whatever, but have I got a course in here. Yes, ironically enough, I do have a course that goes where I want to go. around let's just get it done pay the penalties on this tractor so you can stay let's get rid of the wagon I guess that tractor is about to become my planting tractor since he's available Cedar. 
water plant. Yes, I'm gonna send him down to the cash crop farm and he'll start down there. Plant some oats. I'll swing action. Well, I'm going to need to go to the cash crop farm just to refill the planter to get it started. That's that. And whatever. There's a thing swinging around like that. That's weird. I've never seen that before with this thing. Maybe I should try a different tractor. This tractor not pull the planter. Doing that, or? that could be a problem if it did it in the field. Seems to be all pulling all right right now. I think I'm gonna use a different track. I got a bad vibe about this. Let's just park you here in front of this, whatever that is, and uh, round number. This guy, for some reason I seem to have silage in both bunkers and it shouldn't, but I do. trailer and get going on that. Give a shout out to one good YouTuber, Ian Thompson. Makes good videos. He's in the Euro Truck Simulator too, I noticed. I haven't played it. I understand that in the spring, or in a couple of weeks really, they're coming out with a uh, version for North America that has people who are into that sort of thing all excited. Now, yeah, oh, let's, let's put that plan around this guy, and I've got this. Dooleys. Bam! Some nice shiny dooleys. See how long it takes them to match the dirt. This is one tractor that I think actually looks better with dooleys on it. I don't know why. I have driven one of these in real life before. Nice tractor. Kind of boring, really. actually drove one for the first time ever at the Farm Progress Show in Indiana. We were down there. My brother lived in Indiana at the time and we were down when this tractor was just introduced. And I got to hop in one and take her for a little spin around their little test yard. That was cool. start set up first. Alright. Um, somewhere in here. Number 10 now it is. This guy. 
Set it for field work. Load the course for field 45. Field courses start northwest. Yep, without a return. First waypoint. Alright, get bailing. And we're bailing. That's gonna be a lot of bales coming off of that field. Next, this guy just left him running. Um, we'll see if you'll go up to the to the store via course play. I have a feeling it won't work, but we'll try it. Cash crop farm courses to store. Drive the course on the last point. Please, just go without screwing it up too badly, Harvester. Check on. Oh, he's picking bales up. Always good. That's that one. And this one is also. What are you doing? Driving in circles for no apparent reason. Alright. Why do I have this feeling I should have just restarted the. or rebooted the course? You guys are wasting a lot of my time here. <laughs> that heart's just swerving. There. Oh, it's done. Let's see, we have missing bales. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little cleanup in this field when they're done. Let's get the vent. Since we are done with these bunkers, we need to get them packed. Oh my! Oh, that was crazy. Already packed two of them. This vent is excellent for packing silage. Does it in no time? I already have packed this somewhat, I think. So this will only take a second. Up there. Get him on the big corn planter. Get him to field 25 and plant some corn. Almost there. Five, six, nine, seven, nine, eight, nine, nine, one hundred, and press R. And we're off. The big fence. And I gotta get him. That's a little dangerous. To the North BGA. Oh, I don't think I have a course like that. So what I'll do is, I'll actually just click the roads, three north, see that, and of course you are a dumbass, and uh, north BGA, I 
just some three yards there. And I'll just, I'm on the road three here on this seven to drive up there. Why would you do that? Because I already had some other course loaded that was done. Try that again. Roads. Now I'm annoyed. What the heck is it doing? What am I not? I'm not on three north. That's my problem. I'm on five north. Ah, ah. Ah. Okay. Thought I was on three north for some reason. Let's try this again. Roads five north, not four west. Five north. I got a junction over to five north to four west. Junctions four west to three north. Stupid harvester. Moron. Didn't even get to the store. The dummy. Let's just get rid of him. Cost me a little bit of money. Oh well. Now the weeks. This one. Yep. Refill this planter. And we're gonna set up a brand new course here. Field two. Is I'm gonna auto detect. Yep. Good. Field two, starting south. East, running west, return to first point, one headland after, and then two, exit to three north, let's take a look at what we're doing here. Three north, which is a little big long road that I'm not going to use much of. Cash crop farm. Enter from three north. Then there should be one called seed. Yep, seed. It's one of the mini courses I've already recorded. Now exit to three south. Right here. Roads, three south, last but not least, field two, enter from three south. That is a complete course to plant and refill the planter for this. And we're going to 
change our crop at this point. Where the heck am I? Two oats. There's going to be a great demand for oats. I assume that symbol means oats. Say that I have oats. Yep. Lance tells me that I have oats planted. And we will set it to the first waypoint. I did the headland, A, because we noticed with the corn silage that there wasn't a lot of room to turn around on this field. And B, if I don't, you know darn well I'm going to end up having to go over and do the headlands anyway. So this way, I'm still going to have to go back and fill in the four corners, but at least I'll, I'll have less work to do. And ridge markers manually, please. I don't really like seeing the ridge marker out on the field. Pretty sure this planter's no tail. Yep, there we go, we're planting oats. That is that. This guy is basically covering ground that the other tractor already did. Guessing is what happened there. A little aggravating, but and he's going from the spot that he left off on, which is going to be interesting because this one hasn't covered that spot yet. Just it's going to be right here. That's where that tractor we just left was headed to. He's coming right here. Could be a nasty collision coming up here. This is one of those deals where often I just figure it's best to walk away, let them do their thing. Hey, he got a bail. Good for him. Look at my Fentat. Which one is he now? I keep selling equipment so that my numbers keep changing. Almost there. Close enough that I can as well just drive the rest of the way. Get these bunkers packed. so well. Just hang out over here for a while. That vent in traffic is just following behind the other vent that's picking up the bales every time he stops to stack the bales. It's in the traffic. This is going to be a lot of silage. That'll be ready early tomorrow morning, I believe. I'll have to get a tractor. I'll just use a tractor and a loader, set them up on a loading course, unloading course, and uh, we'll be all day unloading. Bunkers. There's not much point in getting a payload or whatever. Hey, tractors seem to work better for those courses. At least just the way the machine steers, I assume. And um, there's not point, no point in going any quicker than that because once you get 20,000 in the hopper, it doesn't take anymore. I think it's 20,000. So there's, if you had a bigger bucket, it would just be standing around doing nothing. Anyway, I'm not sure if the uh, map maker set this map up to make extra slurry from the silage, but it seems like this map makes a ton of slurry from the silage. I'll end up with millions of liters of it by the time I'm done. Enough that I'll have, when my next 
planting session begins, I'll have plenty of slurry to spread on the fields instead of just paying for fertilizer, so that's nice. Oh, this one's done. And we'll just real quick drive him to the livestock farm, get him to pack down those partially filled bunkers. Oh, getting a little air there. And uh, then we'll hook the planter on him, get him going to field 25. That'll take them a while. It's a big field. But we'll do that the same way we did with field two. We'll set, set up the field course and then we'll set up a run. In that case, we'll go to the dairy farm to refill. But first things first, we gotta get these bunkers packed so that they start fermenting. sitting there that I dropped off before I grabbed the planter. Would be a good idea. I don't know if it's really necessary with such a huge tractor. Probably if I was pulling a wagon silage or whatever, it wouldn't hurt. They tend to lose front grip when they're taking corners on a heavy load. And that planter that I'm using, that pulls pretty heavy. 32% full, hardly at all, but that's okay. When it's done fermenting, I will be able to use this silage for the feed mixer that's on this farm. They're already compacted. This bunker is 50% full, not much better. I must have accidentally run two different courses when I was filling these bunkers. I just quickly loaded up the courses that I had pre-recorded. That must be why there's some silage in both bunkers. Chaff, if you insist. Alright, that's that. Let's go get that planter. That's green anymore. So I think I'll grab the planter, get him set up in the field, and then we'll end this video. Hooray, he's bringing the bales back like he's supposed to. Grab one of these weights. Look at me driving in cabs. I know there's guys out there who are hardcore realistic farmers and all that. I, I see enough unrealistic stuff on this game going on that I don't really feel it's necessary. Let's see if I get too anal on that stuff. I like things that look realistic. I, I love these bottles that people have made. This planter that we were running here. Well, you know, like, it pulls heavy. They've added the weight. It's not helping. I am I don't have a lot of front grip with this thing. That planter I'm pulling, that looks really cool. Never had a planter like this growing up. We, uh, my father liked his John Deere planters. This is one of the few John Deere pieces of equipment you'll see on one of my farms. I'm not a John Deere fan. But he, uh, trusted the traditional John Deere planters. This is an air seeder, I suppose. But And we always, he uh, upgraded the eight row planters in the last, uh, I think he got his first eight row planter 15 years ago. He's got two of them now, one pole behind and one three point hitch one. And he uh, plants about 150 acres of corn every year with that. I've always hated planting as a job. I can't, I can't see the seeds in the ground and that drives me nuts. You, there's a seed monitor on when you plant use as a rule that lets you know if everything's working and if uh, one of the 
grows isn't the planting that's supposed to eat at you. But that's computers and stuff. And dusty, dusty conditions. I've never trusted this thing. I preferred things like cutting hay or plowing, things like that, where you can look behind and see the results of your labors. Let's let him go. And we're gonna drive out to field 25. It's not far from here, so we'll start setting that course up. So that'll be this button. Field 25. There we go. Set the width. 18 meters on this bad boy. Nice big white planter. Southeast. Running north. Return to first point. And once again, one headland after. You know what? On this one, I think I'm not... I'm not going to bother with the headland. I will, just to be sure. Alright. Uh, such a big course, it took a second to load. I haven't left pieces of equipment out here yet. <coughs> um, next, we gotta run the courses to the dairy farm to refill the plant. So, that up. Field 25. And I have a course that goes through the field straight to the dairy farm entrance. Chuck? X. Southeast corner exit the dairy farm. There we go, that's the course, and that goes right to my entrance of the dairy farm. So next, I have to load up or open the dairy farm folder. And I'm at the entrance, so I don't have to load any entrance. So that's dairy pasture. Dairy farm. So I'm just going to look for the seed one. There it is. See that exits on the road four. So exit to four west. Yep. Okay. Now roads. Or west. And now we will re enter 25 just in the middle of the field, that bridge that we just entered on. So enter from 4 west. That's your course. And start at first waypoint, which is going to be just up ahead. I'm in from a field 26, I think that is. Not field 25. I drove past it. I'm so busy concentrating on loading all those courses that I uh, wasn't paying attention to where I was going. Alright, here we go. Drive course, bridge markers, and Watch him unfold this big boy. Big old planner. And he is, in fact, planting corn. There he goes. And he'll be quite a while doing that. So in our next video, we'll uh, obviously be continuing with the planting and the bale picking up. I'm going to, before I start the next recording session, try and clean up some of that equipment. I feel like that's kind of boring and pointless to show up. You don't need to see that. And we're going to get the potato washer fired up and probably start doing a little bit of logging just to clean up a little area so I can cut some grass. So, see you next time.